this beauty. Introducing to you the double double. A little press to mingle all those juices. Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, and I have had in and out before, I've had Five Guys, I've eaten Five Guys before, but I've never had them back to back. So today, I'm gonna go to in and out then we're gonna eat at Five Guys, and I'm gonna give you a full review. I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of each burger, and, well, mostly I'm just gonna go eat and share with you the burgers and have a lot of fun. So we're on our way, Ying is back here, Micah's coming too. Are you guys already snacking? Yes. <laughs> Oh, we have two burgers to eat. Full review of the burgers coming right now. Okay, welcome to In-N-Out Burger. This is where we're gonna eat our first burger. And just to quickly share, both In-N-Out Burger and Five Guys, they both have a huge loyalty of following. Uh, many, many die-hard fans. Especially you'll find In-N-Outs in California as well as Arizona, and mostly in the south, kind of western corner of the United States. My name is, can I just get one double-double? Like yes, please, with extra onions. You enter into In N Out, you can just sense that they have the burger science, the burger assembly line completely down. Everything is very clean, everything is very organized. Uh, you order up at the front, they have a very simple menu. Uh, and uh, you can make lots of different customizations, especially there. They have a famous off menu. I didn't go anything too crazy because I want to keep this burger pretty simple, pretty, pretty much how they normally serve it, but I did get extra raw onions and extra cooked onions. Uh, and then this is just a beautiful thing. Every time I, I have in and out before me, I remember my first in and out which was years ago back in California. It looks like a it looks like a blooming flower. It's just kind of like exploding out of that little handheld wrapper. And here's my receipt. I just got the burger and fries total bill came to 611. I'm going to pick this guy up. This beauty introducing to you the double double from in and out uh, it, it it is like a blooming flower and it's packed within this little bag um, you can see but they, I think there's also another wrapper on the bottom here so you can actually remove this bag they have a uh, this this collects all the extra juices and all the oozing cheese down there um, you don't want to fully unwrap your burger when you start eating or things will start to push out the back end uh, but the bun is very fluffy let's see what else is under here there's lots of cheese two layers of cheese there's two burger patties or yeah, a whole, what I like about In-N-Out is they serve you an entire slab of, of onion in there. So it's an onion steak. Um, there's some burger juices and then down below the, the next patty are where all the, the fried onions are. You can see those caramelized onions. There's a piece of lettuce. There is tomato and then at the very bottom. Oh, there's another slice of onion. Oh, oh that's because I got extra onions. Oh, fantastic. Uh, so on the very bottom then, there is another entire steak slice of onion and all that oozy, kind of mayonnaise-y looking sauce on the bottom, uh, plus some pickles that look like they're inside of there too. Before I destroy the burger too much, let me just give it a little, a little press to mingle all those juices. That's what you gotta do. Okay, I cannot wait any longer to take my first bite. It has been way too long since I had In-N-Out Burger. Oh yeah. Oh, I remember the flavor very vividly. That is every single morsel as good as every other In-N-Out Burger that I've ever had. Um, oh yeah, it's just, I mean, it, it has a slightly fast foody taste to it, but it's so well balanced. The, the, the bun has just this little crunchy edge to it from being, I think that's only on the bottom side where it's slightly toasted. The burger meat, 
has kind of like a, it's not like too overly soft or fatty tasting. Um, it kind of crumbles when you eat it. You've got that crunch from the onion, but the onion is still very mild. You've got the lettuce, um, the cheese. Yeah, the cheese is, is arguably not my favorite kind of cheese because it's kind of that processed type of cheese. Um, but the whole sum of everything is what makes it awesome. You gotta have a pretty wide jaw to take a whole bite of this burger though. A couple bites in, I'm gonna set this aside, although this is a burger like you're, you, you, you could, I could easily finish this without ever setting it down and without ever moving to the fries, but I gotta taste the fries. And just to let you know, I did order the extra crispy fries because sometimes I've been here and the fries are not that crispy and I, I kinda like crispy fries, so I got them extra crispy. These are like extra, extra crispy though. You can see how some of them are just transparent from being deep fried, from, from their friedness. Oh, and I'm pretty sure they're saltless because they give you a little packet of salt. Maybe there's a tiny bit of salt on them. Um, yeah, those are extra crispy. That is for sure. Almost like, like chip, almost like crisp, crispy. You know, the fries are okay, but they're not my favorite fast food fries. I'm really all about the burger. And for this bite, I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze on a little bit of ketchup. Awesomely good. Um, I don't eat burgers that often, but this is a burger that, that makes it count. Somehow the combination of everything just kind of fits perfectly together, and they, it's 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 a perfect recipe. Ketchup is oozing, the cheese is bulging out the side. There's onions. The onions are are awesome. Okay, this is going to be a big bite. I'm at the bottom of my burger now. I didn't experience, I didn't experience any burger slidage. So no, no hunk of meat, none of the vegetables have slid out, slid out the back end. Uh, all you get is a little bit of juice and sauce that's been, um, that's exited out the back side um, into the, the paper wrapper. But yeah, overall it hold, holds up pretty well and you can see, yeah, and I've, I mean, apart from my mouth getting a little dirty, my fingers have remained a little bit quite clean, I guess. Okay, let's finish this guy. My final bite of the double-double. Mm. Oh yeah. The double-double went down extremely easy and it really was ultimate satisfaction, really satisfying taste. The whole composition, the textures, the flavors all mingled together. Uh, but it's not actually all that filling. Uh, you could walk away from the double-double meal and not actually be that full. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad we have another burger coming up. All right, and next up, we're on our way to Five Guys. Okay, welcome to Five Guys. And Five Guys is another burger chain with lots and lots of following in America and the United States. Uh, Five Guys has a little bit of a different story, a totally different story. They're very more, they're more popular on the East Coast. Started, I think, in Virginia. And from what I was reading, they started in 1986. Uh, 1986 is a special year for me. That's when I was born. Oh, good, thanks. Just one hamburger, one cheeseburger. Okay, where's your gonna hamburger? Everything. All the way, how about the cheeseburger? And you are looking number eight. We'll get that right off for you, all right? Thank you very much. Thank you. A 
Okay, so five guys ordered the burgers and yeah, okay, here, let me show you our total receipt here. Uh, we got a hamburger, Ying is having a hamburger. I got the cheeseburger and then we also got a regular fries and a regular drink. Our total bill came to $23.95. But automatically, one of the things I love most about Five Guys is that they have big boxes full of peanuts that you can get and you can snack on while you're waiting for your burger. Have I ever told you that peanuts are one of my favorite snacks? I love peanuts. And the burgers should be ready soon. Number eight. Cool. Thank you very much. Can I get you anything else today? That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I was really hoping to eat on the inside of the restaurant uh, because that completes the whole Five Guys dining experience. Uh, but they're playing pretty loud music in, inside and I can't really ask them to turn down the music. So I thought this is actually a fantastic day in Phoenix. It's cloudy for, for once. Yeah, great weather. I thought this is a fantastic opportunity to eat Five Guys in the car. Oh wow. Okay, immediately as I pull out this Five Guys burger, this is the cheeseburger, it is, it's heavy. It, it's like a weight. You can feel that heaviness. Uh, definitely, I'd say about at least twice as heavy as the In-N-Out Double Double Burger. It, it, you can feel it has some substance to it, that's for sure. It's nice how they wrap it in foil to keep it extra fresh and warm as you transport it somewhere. Immediately as you open that foil, you get this poof of like a meaty aroma. You can really smell the beef on their burger. And I think to actually get a full look at this, I'm gonna have to pick it up and, and just kinda, well maybe I, should, maybe I should actually keep a little bit wrapped up in the foil, that way we don't have too much spillage and get too many juices all over the car. Okay, so let's do a quick up close and personal in your face look at the, the Five Guys cheeseburger. The bun, it doesn't have so much of a fluff as at uh, In-N-Out. It's, kind of, it's kind of already packed down. Um, and you can see there's sesame seeds on it. If you open the lid here, what do we have? Okay, we've got, I ordered all, I, 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 what did they call it? They call it all the way. So I got all the toppings. There's lettuce, there's mayo, there are pickles in here. Wow, that's, that's quite a beautiful look peek into the burger all the sauces are mingling below there um two slices of tomato then you've got the first beef patty then you've got cheese which have sort sort of like oozed all around to the other side oh is the cheese in between the patties oh yes okay so that's a lot of oh oh look at that cheese oh look at that cheese okay oh it's still nice and hot and really fresh then you've got the next burger patty um, oh, there are mushrooms on here. Okay, then you've got a layer of mushrooms. You've got a layer of grilled onions. Oh, I wish I would have asked for extra raw onions too, but that's okay. Um, and then ketchup. Looks like there's some ketchup. Looks like there might be some extra sauce. And then the next bun. And yeah, the, the bun again is kind of like, kind of already like smashed down for you. Yeah, this really has some, some heaviness to it. It really has some density to it. That, that feels good in your hand. Mmm. Oh, that's a solid burger. Right off the bat, I can tell you that the Five Guys burger, it tastes to me less salty than In-N-Out. And it also, you know, it, to me it has a little bit more of a fresher taste to it, a less, for lack of better vocab, less of a fast foody taste to it. At In-N-Out you still, and I'm not saying anything bad or good. The In-N-Out burger still sort of has a fast foody manufactured kind of taste to it. Whereas this has more of a fresh kind of, um, a little more natural of a taste, especially the whole, the whole composition of it. Both are good depending on what type of mood you could be in. The patties themselves are quite similar in my opinion. They both have kind of a, a crumbly texture to them. Um, but they actually taste quite different. I'm gonna step outside for, for my next bite, get a little bit of fresh air. Oh. 
Mm. Another thing that you'll notice is that the Five Guys Burger is a little bit less saucy than the In-N-Out Burger. Uh, it's not dry by any means, but it doesn't have as much of that kind of mayonnaise-y, Thousand Island-y kind of dressing. For my next bite, I will need to add some ketchup. Yeah, it is pretty excellent with the addition of that extra ketchup. Okay, before I polish off this entire burger, let's try the fries. Okay, the fries are still down here. And to be honest, it's a little bit easier to eat outside here when I'm eating and filming and balancing ketchup and fries and juicy burgers. Okay, I'll eat up here. You can see the fries are quite a little bit thicker than in and out um, they feel crispy but kind of soft at the same time and they really pride themselves with the fries here at, at Five Guys saying they use natural potatoes, Idaho potatoes I think, uh, fried in, is it peanut oil? Mm. You know my fries, unfortunately, they're a little bit soggy because they've been sitting for so long. Uh, but the taste is good. I like the flavor of the potato. It has a, just a slight earthiness, I think. Um, that could also be because they keep the skins on the potatoes. Fries are pretty good. Yeah. Fries and ketchup, they're just made to go together. Okay, now back for the burger. So something to definitely think about. The Five Guys Burger is twice as expensive as the In-N-Out Burger, but it is a lot more filling and even it's twice as heavy. So that's just one aspect to think about. I have reached my last bite and Come take a close up look here. It's a good thing I kept this foil intact because there's a lot of juices at the bottom here. Here's my final bite, but if you can see at the bottom here, a pickle leaked out the back end. There are a few onions and some juices. For me, I'm totally okay with burger backslide, uh, but just to keep things consistent for this review, I just, I just wanted to let you know. Okay, final bite. Bun gets a little bit soggy at your final bite. Um, but that definitely was delicious to the last bite. Oh, and the last pickle. Okay, back-to-back -back burgers are complete. I feel fantastic after both of the burgers. That's actually a perfect fullness. Um, but yeah, actually, so the Five Guys burger is definitely more filling. Uh, again, like I said, if you had the In-N-Out burger, uh, just the double double you wouldn't well I wouldn't be that full and it's not that all that filling uh, it's probably it's probably enough calories for a while though uh, but it's not that filling anyway there's so many different things to compare um, again both in and out and five guys are very very popular they both have a I'm gonna go ahead and lean back a little bit oh oh hello Micah Micah did you like five guys or in and out better Ying, did you like Five Guys or In-N-Out better? Five Guys. <laughs> Five Guys? Yeah. <laughs> so to be completely honest, In-N-Out is more tasty. It has more of that salty, addictive, like craving type of flavor. Five Guys, on the other hand, has a little, it's a little less tasty for sure for me, uh, but it has more of a natural, more of a better quality taste to it. Okay, so the bottom line is, it depends on kind of what mood you're in, what burger you would want to eat and what burger is better. Oh, it's so tough. To, it's such a tough decision. I think I'm going to give it to Five Guys though because Five Guys is your, regardless of price, of course, because the burger is more, more dense to me, uh, more filling, more hearty. I'd love to hear from you what burger you like best in the comments below. Uh, and remember to give this video a thumbs up and also make sure you click subscribe. I'm going to be publishing lots more food and travel videos and click the little bell icon so that you get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching. Uh, this was just a lot of fun and those were good burgers. Okay, bye, 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 Micah. Say bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Say bye, Micah. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs>
<laughs> okay, thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next video.